Hello, everyone. Oh, wow, we are too bright today. What is happening with our camera? Hello, everyone. Welcome. I am Tom from Cool About Woodworking, and I would like to welcome everyone today uh, to the new woodworking series to our Tuesday Live Woodworking on Thursday. So sorry guys, I have an, a little bit of an issue as usual in the beginning with our... Here we go. Oh, it's dirty. That's what the issue is. <laughs> we have a dirty camera, guys. So we take a microfiber towel, guys. So we take a microfiber towel and clean you so that you have a nice and clean experience today i apologize for that i should have spotted it earlier okay i don't know what i did with it but well that's part of the life is there something going on huh is there some water in there we have an issue here yes sorry guys <sighs> it's just made worse Okay, let's see. Let's take this off. I'm sorry, guys. So, is that better? No, it's better. Fantastic. So, there's some kind of water in here. See, it's this, this little thing here. Just killed us a little bit. Which is weird. So, so, so sorry about that, guys. I think that should do now, yeah. So some kind of liquid came in there. Must have been from the moisture here. Anyway, guys, now, welcome, guys. Welcome to live woodworking on usually on Tuesday, today on Thursday, because I was traveling for work. And uh, if I skip sometimes a Tuesday, I will catch up on Thursday. Uh, and if I don't do it at all, I will be uh, mentioning that in my community post. So sorry, everyone who has uh, waited for our first day, uh, Tuesday live session. It is on Thursday. I did schedule it, so just always check it out as well. I will schedule it. I like to schedule it almost a week ahead. And again, if I cancel it, I will let you guys know in the community post just in case something is happening. So we already have a couple of uh, someone joining. It's, it's Nick for sure. I can, I can tell already that um, yeah. It's not Tuesday, I know. So yeah, I'm just explaining that, Nick. <laughs> so I'm just gonna uh, pop out the chat here. And I was traveling for work, man. So this is why this happened. And this is why I'm <laughs> I'm here today. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't, I, I wasn't able to like, I had to go, as you know, very busy. Oh, it's not even working here. So very busy at the moment with work. Uh, and yeah, and you should be playing, man. It's Thursday. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, cool. So today we're gonna keep going with our table here. And yes, as I have been traveling for work, I haven't had a chance to even keep going with anything. So I just have to find my feet again. Uh, by the way, tomorrow, guys, new video coming out. I will did a little bit of a project here. You can see that a little bit. It's this insert here, and don't get me wrong, guys, it's awesome, but it was way more difficult to build than I thought. So, by the way, I have to probably record an outro for that today. But yeah, <laughs> okay, so that video will drop by tomorrow. It's already done, it's already edited, and yes. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have a lot, a ton of sanding to do. So, uh, Mr. Nick, sorry about that, but. It's gonna be not as exciting of a session, but it's part of the process, and I think it's it's important for you guys to know. So what we do is um, we're gonna flip it around. So this is this is what we did, by the way, last time. So this is how they finishes finish look with one coat of polyurethane. Um, it's not great yet, which is alright because it gets another couple of coats. But the color of that slab is insane. Like, look at this it's insane so it's it's very very cool 
Okay, so I, I see if I can actually zoom in a little bit, if I can read it. You have it on a big screen, but I can't. <laughs> awesome, no worries, man. All good. So, all good with that. Today is going to be a bit of a chaos session anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, that's all good. So, I'm going to go and flip you guys around to my uh, top view which is that very nice top view so the color of it is insane so i'm really happy how like how this is actually looking for a cut like the slab itself it's insane like it's so much darker than kiln dried wood um usually it's really 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 um like much much lighter and uh, because this one is air dried this one actually died in a fire uh, so the, oh, because of all of this, uh, we, we're doing that, that fire theme with it or the, the charcoal theme with it. But this thing is awesome. So it looks like the figuring here and especially out over here. Wow. It is so, so cool. Probably can make, put a little closer so you can see it a little better. You can see that here. Wow. And you can also see that that semi, uh, like that semi gloss that it is or the satin finish looks awesome with it i'm i'm actually it's, it looks awesome so i'm gonna be uh, hopefully it's gonna be like very nice and uh we can't figure out how we're gonna do the yeah how we're gonna do the yeah that, that needs a, an urgent recent uh but how we're gonna do the legs and how we're gonna attach them and see if we can fix them up somehow uh yeah we'll we will hopefully uh, get that all figured out and I just realized I have this running here still which is a bit annoying but we're gonna open this here yeah very cool guys so everything is running well I'm just testing everything again uh, you're looking great uh, everything is awesome so okay um yes now we're gonna have a look and we're gonna start with a descending process so we're gonna flip it over this one is basically done um, i'm not gonna do the sanding until i do another the first coat on the top so then we have two coats on it and it's much much less likely that it's warping on us so i clamped it down before we left and it's gonna look awesome with that burnt edge here that's like it's just an insane cool looking piece and there's oh there's some things came down here okay interesting Okay, so we have sanded this one to 80 grit. So we're going to start with 120, 180, and then we go to 220. And then we're going to go um, all the way up to 300. I have seen already down there that the polyurethane is not very forgiving with the scratches here. So we have to go up relatively high with that here, which is fine. So I don't want to have like any kind of issues there later on. So we're going to keep going with that. Obviously, guys, as you know, behind the scenes, guys. So if you look at the small screen here, you can always see me every now and then um, moving around my camera here, my camera setup, which is still my iPhone, which the selfie camera just died on me. Um, but the normal one still works which is good uh but yeah i don't know it's it's just overheated and yeah it killed, it killed itself so yeah guys by the way i'm like also on instagram so if you are on instagram uh guys check me out it's cool about wood cool about underscore woodworking uh at cool about underscore woodworking there's a little bit more behind the scenes so it's it's similar content uh obviously building wise but there's a little bit more under this uh, behind the scenes going on as well. You can see some farm stuff I'm doing as well. Uh, for example, this weekend I'm gonna go and um, where did I put the mouse now? Oh, over there, great. Um, I go and uh, build my stable again, which means yeah, so you can be part of that a little bit too. That's gonna be in my stories, so. A little bit more behind the scenes stuff, farm builds, um, farm stuff, and yeah, I think I've already did that to 180 grit, huh? Well, we're gonna go with 120 again. 
because we have an issue here. Okay, so we're gonna go and always try to get <laughs> my mouse. Don't don't steal my mouse. Um, so what we always do, we always get our proper PPE gun. Okay, so like ear, lungs, ears, lungs, lungs, ears, 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 lungs, ears, ears, lungs, ears, 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 lungs. So it's very important to like, oh Jesus God, it's very important to, yeah, really protect yourselves. It's, it's your health, man. Really, do it, do it, do it, do it. Or do you look cool with it? With this one, I always look like Bane. I like it. I like it. Oh, we didn't record this session. We start recording, guys. So now I have to run another intro. Sorry, guys. Um, again, guys, today we are here and could continue with our uh, Life Edge coffee table. We're gonna send it through. Uh, we're sending the top because we, we finished the top, uh, the bottom already, to about 320 grit. And then see how much we're gonna uh, still need to send the epoxy here and we're gonna jump right into it so this epoxy here uh, has to be like the scratches are not forgiving with the polyurethane that we have so we're gonna use this polyurethane um, here and then we, we, we might have to really send really high might maybe in to 500 grit but let's see so we're gonna go keep going with 120 because I have some uh, spills from the other side. And then we go to, to uh, 120, 180, uh, 220, and then 320. 240, 320. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going, guys. So it's gonna be very quick, did the 120 one, because we did kind of send it already to 100 to uh, 100 and foo, 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 180, but I just need to go, go and clean this stuff up here, uh, which is important. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, sorry guys. So, always recording everything. Very important, guys. If I forget to record, you have to remind me, please. And yes, so let's do it. So, guys, it's gonna be a bit loud in between. I know you can hear me still a little bit because I tested it, but it's always a bit annoying. So, yeah, guys. Okay, we are testing this again here. <laughs> I actually wanna have a footage of this edge because it looks kind of awesome. So we are sending it. Sending is boring to watch, so I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. For you guys, it's just like it. Yeah. This is really bubbles here. Interesting. Because of this bit right? It's going off quickly, which is good. Okay, so sending time. So how do, am I doing sanding? I always take a little bit of this one here. We draw on it so that we have a nice 
good surface or like a nice good indicator where we have been and we didn't miss anything so yeah we got 120 woohoo <laughs> Beautiful, like this lap is beautiful. I'm loving the figuring on it. It's literally one of the most beautiful slaps I've ever worked with. Just that drying is insane, like the air dry. Okay, so now we are 180 grit. What we do next is we're gonna go with our champ a bit over the side here because we're gonna go and put a little bit of a chamfer here on the side. It's gonna look good and it's gonna be a little bit more, well, actually, probably don't. Probably just sand it so it's not as harsh of an edge. Ha! What will look better, guys? Should I sand it or should I get this edge a chamfer? It's very sharp at the moment, so we have to do something. Maybe a very light chamfer or maybe a roundover. Woo! A roundover, baby, huh? Let's do a roundover. It's gonna be weird to a roundover. There's nothing else. Oh. It's really round. And those ones are not a problem because this one will be nice and sanded. So if this is this edge is actually quite rough too. So I think I have to I think to make it more uniform, I sh I sand it off. Yep! This added. See guys? See guys? Keep the concept. Keep it in the concept. Sometimes you have to decide things on the fly without any regards of yeah what's happening cool wow this is gonna look awesome Jesus loving it <laughs> wrong side wrong side okay guys so we gotta flip that in here a little bit okay
Okay, okay, okay. Alright, don't make any mistakes here. Yeah, I forgot to do that on the other side, that you should do that beforehand. <laughs> Before you put some shellac on it or like any kind of finish. So, yep. I forgot that. My boo boo. So we have to get this one here a little bit. Okay. And non aggressive, except here. This is good, this is not good. Okay. Difficult, guys. <laughs> Rounding off a life edge, that's rounding off a life edge is extremely difficult. <laughs> so I don't wanna you know take it off too much either because uh, should look natural, but all right.
Oh, that's good. Uh. Okay, okay. So now, yeah, that feels much better. It looks cool too. Like the the round over edge here looks awesome. The really nice round over. Model sitting there. Just for the really small edges. Yeah, that works well. <laughs> it looks insane. Hey? Very cool. Okay. So we're gonna go back to up to the 180 degree ticket. Oopsie, Jesus. And it's 180. Done. We're gonna wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. Because we don't wanna send any sand anymore. I like send any sand. <laughs> send any dust here. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> I'll just turn it around, it's a little easier. I like that size of belt, you can just, just manhandle it still, which is awesome. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Okay, 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 done. Next, 180. Oops. Feels really nice already. 620. 180 is gonna be even nicer. And then, yeah. What did just drop? What did that just drop? Oh no, that is my. Mouse! That is not good! Yeah! I need that! <laughs> I need that! Oh, that doesn't look good though. So we can mount it. Here. Um. Last, so it's really it's it's winter here so guys we are in australia and it is winter at the moment so it's cold at night this is why the heater is going here so this is what we are doing and yeah uh, some of the stuff in here actually has some condensing going on like that's why this camera here was a little bit foggy but yeah all good okay we keep going and we see how long we can stand and then what, what we do next Ooh, nice i'm ah, getting a real nice bit of Starting to look like really good. It's 180 degrees, that's a very nice grip to go over already.
the opposite is a little longer because it's obviously it's much harder. So I'm gonna go over it with I go over there a little bit more often so that I don't have problems to the end. Okay, we have oopsie. So I have a couple of, I don't know if you see that. So I'll show you that quickly here. So I'm not sure if you can see that from the video. Uh, it's probably a bit too small, but there are some little gaps here in the epoxy. And I thought I picked them out already last time with, um, but I obviously didn't. And there's heaps of little holes left here same here so we have to fill up those holes again i think that just came up through the sanding so there's some little cracks so on the bottom i didn't worry too much about it because we do have we don't see it <laughs> so on the bottom you don't see it as often i guess wow that looks that feels amazing already Rid of all that. Yeah, that feels amazing already. Nice. Some little scratches still there, so we might leave the wood on 180 and send up, or maybe 220 and send up here a little bit more. But yeah, first things first, we have to fill those holes again. More filling. And what I've seen as well is, which is a bit annoying, we have to fill some on the side here. There's some cracks on the side. Very annoying. How bad? It's amazing. Maybe we polish the wood up instead. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I have some. Yeah, maybe, huh? I have some tips here. Tip, 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 tips here. Ah. Yes, my super glue seized up a little bit. So, how we, how we fix that is there we go. Okay, so this. Starbond is awesome because it's black, 
So if you use a black epoxy, it's you can barely see it. And I think black looks best actually with most of the um, with most of the most kinds of wood. And today we're gonna use a little bit of a a little bit of a tip on it, so it comes it goes easier into those holes, so we can like fill them up from the bottom. So I'm just gonna put that on there, and I think I flip it around later. So I always like to just guys, that's that's a cool trick. So if you do YouTube and you're right-handed, film more from the left hand. It's easier. I've noticed so many times that I accidentally like I went in front with my arm. You know, like it's so annoying. So yeah. This, this stuff on and a little bit of a so and then we go very close this one seems to have some shit in there <laughs> there it is there's a little bit of dust. So, pro tip, guys. If there's a little bit of dust in there, it's get, just get it out, vacuuming it out, air pressure it out, whatever. Just get it out there because this will compromise. Oh, no, I made a massive scratch now into the... Ah! Anyway, um, because that will compromise the, the bond with the epoxy and the CA glue. Okay. Okay. Come on, buddy. Be nice to me. This is not going to have work here. Jesus. Oh, God. This is so fiddly. I'm not good at fiddly things. It's just. It's hard for me. I'm shaking a lot. Yeah, every time you sand and you go to the next grid, it's always the same. It's like some tiny little micro gaps open up. So we are trying to really get every single sort of one thing that can separate you from other woodworker is your attention to details. So you have, if you go like all out, always, well, it's a ton of work, but the quality is so much better too. So I'm trying to do my absolute, absolute best every single time. So I'm going to go really, all these really little micro little pits. I go in there because obviously like I can't shine with quantity. The only thing I can shine is with quality. Because obviously I can't do a, a billion tables. I'm all by myself. So how can you dif dif differentiate yourself? What makes you different? And that's not just in woodworking, but also in, yeah, in any kind of other business. What is your unfair advantage? And then use it. People are like, I think unfair, unfair advantages have like a bad stigma, but every single person has it, whatever it is. Like, oh, I got, like, for example, I'm lucky because I live here on this property and I have this space here that I can use for woodworking. So this is my unfair advantage, so I'm using it. I'm working a ton, I'm working hard. 
That doesn't mean that I have advantages. That there are no advantages that other people don't have. So what I'm saying is, use your unfair advantages. And my well, another unfair advantage is, I like doing this stuff. I like to be far off with things. And I know that other people don't. And that's my unfair advantage. So. <sighs> okay. What? This is like those pits here, down here, are monsters. But it looks insane. Like in the video itself. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Oof, oof, oof. So much figuring. Guys, this table will be for sale as well. Once we're done, I put it straight up. First come, first serve. It's not going to be super, super, super expensive. But it will have some, some price on it. I'm thinking about around the $1,000 mark. A steal for a table like this, to be fair. But... I want to give back here a little bit too, and I want to sell it. Like I want, I don't want it. Like I don't have the space to, sit, to let it sit around forever. And then my little son, destructive little two-year-old. Jesus, there's a. Okay, hopefully that sticks it in. Okay. Oh wow, there's a massive gap in here. It goes all the way in, Jesus. So let's fill this up. This is a really big hole. Okay, here we go. Let us see, I go there. Hopefully, it doesn't go through all the way. Okay. So, um,. Oopsie. Ah, fuck. <laughs> that's an oopsie. It was already half cured, but that's okay. So, I do... I, so, wh why I, why didn't I do, like, straight away the activator? With little pits like that, um, I'd like to let it sit a little bit, at least, to let it sink in. Okay, so it, that's another pro tip. Well, pro tip. That's another tip from my side. Like, I'll leave it a little bit so it doesn't harden up in, immediately. So it has a little bit of time to harden, harden up, and then I put the activator on top of it, and then it ching, goes immediately. But I like to let it sit a little bit because if I don't, if I fill up so many holes, and then I wait a little bit, and then. It, yeah, it just cures a bit better. My, my uh, thing, and it's also like the small pits that don't rip out as easily. So that's that's a good advantage as well. So here you can see there's still a little bit missing. never gonna hold anyway. ah, so there's some micro little micro pits in there that's I they don't look bad at all they look just they just belong to the wood because it's actually not broken out epoxy it's actually like going really messy into the wood like the wood grain which is oh, looks awesome there's one hole here Chip, 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 ch
Yep, cured. Cured. Not cured. Cured. Okay. So, let's give it a shot and um, get rid of the little bit of the birds here and then, yep. Oh, so cold. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, Jesus, what's happening? This one. So we missed a little bit of a gap here. All this character here, guys. Okay, let's see if I miss. Oh, Jesus, there's one massive one here. So, <laughs> yeah, we have one uh, big crack here, which is that was filled up with epoxy and is still filled up in the inside of the epoxy, but the outside melted off when we <laughs> burned it. So, I'll fill it up with TA glue here. A little bit, at least some stuff, some parts of it. I don't mind the gap because it gives it again character. But I don't want that to break off at all. <laughs> that would be horrible. This one should be fine. <laughs> This one here gets a couple smacks here. Whoop, whoop. CA glue is the best. CA glue is the best. Probably should film that because that's special. That doesn't come every day. Ah. 
Yes. I like it. I like it. I like it. Like it. Like it. So you can see that, guys. This is a ton of work. Very fiddly. Very lots of detail work. So. Cool. So this one is filled. I'm gonna probably give it there a little bit too. Actually, no, this is filled. That's fine. Okay. Oh no, I forgot a huge crack here. tricky one I don't like this one here because I think I have to go this few a little bit here ah it's fine you guys are fine hope you can see me so here is a bit of a tricky one we're gonna go top view okay so so this one, there's a, like a little bit of a broken corner here. It's not broken off, but there's a quite a big a gap here. Oh, I feel the bottom, but I didn't feel this side here yet. So that's a, yeah, wow, that's a tricky one because I somehow have to get the CA glue in there. That's working super well. <laughs> Jesus, I love this CA glue, man. And this tip on the top, amazing, guys, seriously. This looks, oh, Jesus. Oof. Put that into one now. No, please um, wipe off the excess there. No, no, oh, too late. 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 Wipe off the excess there, there's now the young glue on it, but that's fine. I can't send that. Okay, that's fine. We send this one here. Okay, did we forget anything else, guys? Anything else? <sighs> Just remember, guys, nothing is ever perfect, but you can get it close. <gasps> There's not as little more needed here. Very flat spot, so get rid of that here.
Okay guys, this is it. This is the 180 grit. So we do next grit up. One more. And then I think we are ready for our finish, guys. Because this one is looking pretty good now. Yeah, so we're gonna go really high on this one. And then, perfect. So let's see, we get rid of this just in case. And uh, yeah, here we go. Always close oh jesus always close it very good finish jesus christ i love it see i go see i go is the best okie dokie oh no more sending 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 no more sending sending get a different different view different view so we did the 180 we need the, we did the 120 we need higher guys higher Hi where are all the higher ones jesus yeah no suck Oof. where are you guys where are you 320 what's it again ha nothing there empty empty am i empty with everything I'm keeping empty boxes. Really? So. This one is brand new. 320. Yes, a 220. Nice. That's brand new too. Okay, 220. 220 now, guys. So I'm gonna, that's one thing that I'm gonna build soon, is uh, proper storage for my, uh, yeah, for my sandpaper, something where I can like just click, click, so yeah. This one is pretty flat array again. I'm gonna get a softer one on it. Okay, 120. <laughs> Guys. Um, we're gonna go with the. Turn it around again because. Ooh! Jesus. <laughs> Took out my light. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, um. Yeah, wipe it off. By the way, guys, don't press really hard with that. Otherwise, it takes forever to send out. So really just for marking, basically. So you don't forget anything. Your previous grid should be already pretty good. So getting out shit um, should be with the 80 grade, 120 grade. And then <clears throat> with 180, you should just finish it out to get the scratches out from the previous grids. Um, <clears throat> but all the gaps and all the little scratches should be gone by then. So it's important to, yeah, to just really slightly, slightly tighten it. And then it goes nice and fast with the amazing sander. I really like this sander. So this sander is by far the best all around sander ever. I have a video actually on my sander, it's actually the best performing video I have. It's probably one of the five Very, very micro influencer. But it's a cool sander, I'm telling you guys. It's so good. I'm so happy with it. Again, guys, consider me following on um, other socials like Instagram. It's fun there, you know, it's like a little bit more personal. You can send messages as well, you can catch up with things. 
and I love to see things that you build. So things the community builds, I'm gonna post it for you guys. I'm always happy to do that. My chef is going to much, but I love uh, connecting with people and with everyone that watching and doing things. So I really like to do that. Real nice now. <laughs> yeah, that feels real nice now. So I think I go up to three twenty. Okay. <sighs> because if ascending this tier, that is three twenty. But I think I need a softer pad for that. <sighs> Same pad. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, last grid, guys. And after that, we do it. Finishing. Yay. And we do our beautiful table finish. Like our uh, poly. I'm really, again, not very experienced with poly. But try something new. Try something new on things. And the, the other side looks great. So, again, table, like a uh, little pencil, little marks very lightly, just so that we know. Because, see, if the marks wouldn't have been there, I've, I forgot this spot here beforehand. So, now I didn't. Now I can't. Because it will remind you. That you have to do this. It doesn't need to be like a nice pattern, you know. We're not drawing a picture here. Just there's something on it everywhere. And I like to go to the edges because if you go to the edges, the edges are most forgotten. <laughs> so that's why. It is really nice. I keep saying that. <laughs> but I was too surprised because it was quite a cheap job. I know why it was cheap. It was pretty... Uh, there's a lot of imperfections in there. And this is the exact thing that we have. Just a ton of work to get everything clean there. And that's why I could thank you. Ah, that's why it's cheap. So I could work to work with it. But so now we make sure that the top two is really But that looks pretty decent. Now, we're gonna clean that off with mineral spirits so that all the residue is gone. 
And then, wow, it feels amazing. <laughs> it feels amazing. 320 crit cast feels amazing. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. It's like a, you know, like one of those ice skating rings. <laughs> okay, so it really feels amazing now. Okay, let's go get this uh, white spirits here, middle spirit, shit, and get it cleaned. And then we are looking at our varnish here. It takes like eight days to cure. So what I'm going to do now is because last time we dripped a little bit, I'm going to get my sanding. Oh, wait, first I clean it and then I get my sanding stuff off. Actually, I'll get my sanding pad off now and I get a little bit of spaces underneath. So we don't have that many drips. <laughs> okay, um, for that, I think we go go to the top view. I have to improve that camera. It's not the best. This this camera here, not the best. I think we probably have to replace it at one stage. But uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. One. Get this one's down here. This is how it is. Beauty. Beauty. Okay. So. And now we get a rag. So the others, you can buy rags actually from Bunnings. They're super, super cheap. And they're so useful. This, so useful. Use it all the time. And uh, you can get that in big ball, uh, big um, bags of them. And they are so good. Oh my God, look at this, yes. Beauty. What a beauty. Beauty, guys. Do you want to see why we're cleaning it off? That's why. See that? Yeah. So, guys, trust me. If people say, oh, clean it with uh, mineral spirits or with, your, with the Ruby or Monocode thing cleaner, there's a reason why <laughs> they say that. <sighs> Still have my earmuffs on. We don't need them anymore tonight. So the next thing what we do as well is after that we're gonna look at our legs again, the epoxy legs. So we're gonna have to. Ooh, beautiful. I have to say it would be nice to have some ruby monocode on it, but now I started already with the because that looks insane like it would look like this wow nice but it wouldn't have any sheen either to it i kind of like it but i think it fits better because they things are high gloss there's a little sheen on it so yeah wow i love that Whew. that 320 grit did a ton of good to this slab Okay, cool. Ah, my sander is wrong, 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 wrong. I don't like it. Okay, do we have issues here? Ah. Tell me I sent it. Uh, print it. Yes, I did. <laughs> At least I have footage, even though it's not the best one. Now we move over here again for the finishing process of the top. I get it as much as I can. Yeah, that light is awesome and it did perfectly. Nice. <sighs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, <clears throat> so, we send this a little bit, uh, shake this a little bit. Oh. 
Okay, so we're gonna do the sides as well today. Have to move it a little bit over there. So, I don't have any issues. So we're gonna do the sides today as well. <clears throat> I probably should get rid of this cable, this weights there. I don't know why they're here. Oh, I know because of the it's something dodgy. Anyway, um, <laughs> I need something dodgy, very dodgy. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Interesting. Yep, 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 yep. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, it's fun. So yeah, with the sorry, I was distracted just now a little bit. Uh, with the legs, we have a bit of an issue because what you can see here is obviously the drips came down but the drips is not the issue the drips is the issue is it enclosed bubbles and you can see that the, the color is like really white by the way this is how the legs look Jesus. yay so uh and they will be polished to high gloss so we, we sent them down that the knobs are not the issue the issue is the enclosed bubbles and i tried to take off some of them but then it takes off the wood underneath and which means the burnt part of it which is super 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 annoying and I think I just need to live with it. That there are some micro bubbles on it. And I get I try to get them out as much as possible when I sand. Maybe we do another flood coat then after. Or like some patches. So we'll see. Okay, are you ready? Huh? Are you dry? Don't seem dry. Here you go. Do it with the heater. Shh. No, don't touch it, don't touch it, wow, like it has a really nice, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called now, that shimmer, yeah, it does have that, nicely, nicely, guys, tomorrow's video, please, watch it, it's gonna be awesome, I'm publishing it tomorrow at 9.30pm, Oh, 8.30 p.m., I think. So, it's gonna be very nice. Gonna be very nice. Gonna be very nice. Oh no. We cleaned it, but it's still stiff. It's probably not good. Okay, so my brush from last time died. <laughs> it's very stiff. I didn't clean it properly. So, can we use a, uh, 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 send, uh, send to smooth surface and remove all sanding dust before coating to achieve super smooth finish or if the timber grain is open. Of course, apply a coat. Apply a coat of sanding sealer. Ugh. But I should apply. Uh, clear one should be steered. Oopsie. Okay. Should we, should we try to spray it? 
I don't know. I think like that's that would make a mess. Now we would need a spray booth or something. Because I do have a sprayer. <sighs> Where is it though? Where is it? It always was in the way. Oh here. Right here. Very dirty. Nah. Too loud. Neighbors are sleeping. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Do we have a painting something, huh? Nope. Uh, da, 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 da. My painting stuff is gone. I used it all, I think. For the last project I did. Anywho. Anywho, anywho, anywho. I think I use this and then I roll it over. To make it smooth. Wow. <laughs> because this one is gonna be a little bit tricky. Oh, oh wow, I have this still. There's the oil on it. Do I have a fresh one? I do have a fresh one. Okay. We have this uh, foam one, which is should make a really good finish. But yeah, let's see. We have this still, um, but it's just this bit. We probably can use it. Okay, anyway. So this has to be steered and not shaken, and I shook it already like crazy because you shouldn't introduce bubbles. I'm like, eh, <laughs> who cares? Idiot. Okay, see, bubbles, bubbles everywhere. So beautiful. I think I used that. This one worked last time. It's self-leavening and it should work, but. Oh no, don't lose anything at least. Can we make the foam for me? Is that okay? Let's see. Oh, not bad. Oh, that may work. Not at all. <laughs> oh, yeah, it works. Kind of. Yeah, no, it works. Cool. So we obviously have to video that. Am I videoing that? No. Always good to not start videoing when you start doing your finishing process. Idiot. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That foam one works well. That that has a lot ahead because it sucks it up. Is that a one way? One, one way thing. Like it. Don't worry, I'm gonna go with the grain here. Thank you. 
I'll let you enjoy this. It's a bit of an ASMR style content right now. Okay, that's pretty all right already looking. So now we steer that suck again. And then we get this one for the side. Oh no, this one for here. And we take the brush for the side so that we can go into everything. To the camera here because it's a bit annoying here. I have to make sure that I get everything. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okie dokie. So we retire this one and we go with this one. And now I have to look at a little bit of more close up shots. Probably a bit too big. Do we have a smaller brush? Nope. Okay, we just deal with it. So just remember, guys, the sides here. They don't get a second coat, so we have to make it, we have to keep perfectly done on the first try. Because otherwise, we can't send it, so it's gonna be an issue. Oof. in here oh jesus there was a ton so, get it out 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 okay 
Okay. It's, uh, it's a bit difficult with that big brush here. Oof. This is gonna look awesome once it has a satin, satin tone on it. So. <laughs> Going in the front here. <laughs> Okay, again guys, we are trying to film everything and get some cinematic footage going. Cinematic. <laughs> oh my god, the lighting here is insanely shite. Looks like I have the worst. Anyway. There's so many like little nooks and crannies in here, so it's very hard to get into it, especially with a brush like this big. It's too big! At least, it makes short process of the rest of it. Nice. So we have to go over the sides again with the foam brush. To get rid of all the brushes I did for the uh, okay oh, that looks horrendous okay I'm not sure if I'm, I'm gonna be happy with that poly very Suspicious that that doesn't work properly. Okay. So let's go over it with the foam again. Just on the sides. So all the brush marks are gone. Okay, let me just use here. Go with the grain, go with the grain, the grain goes everywhere though, so it's pretty hard, pretty hard. Okay, so let's see if that hopefully levels out um, and that dries properly as well. Uh, but the color, wow, wowie, like wowie. Just worse. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. 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 You could. You could go. 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 Okay. Ah. So we close it up. And we wipe off the 
this one here. Get the poly off here too. Polyurethane. <laughs> yes, I have a bucket of water there. That's from. <laughs> still from. Um. <laughs> Still from the legs when I was burning the legs. So, yep. Oh no! Don't tell me that I didn't film it. Uh, uh, no. No. Yeah, no, I did. Good. Done. Eric. is two guys so if anybody knows something or knows a good one i'm happy to try 
but I'm extremely happy. Let's see. Let's get those going and see how it works. I think it might not be enough, but.
Kata with those knobs on it.
another video of mine. As usual, I appreciate you and switch on next week, Tuesday, live again when we keep going with our table and hopefully in one stage, weeks, months from now,